Hey, I'm Kate and I'm chatting with Milky today. So I grew up outside of Vancouver, Canada, and I started writing songs for myself when I was like six. They were all bad. And I loved Hannah Montana, and I loved Taylor Swift. And so I would watch them all the time, and I was like, maybe I could do that. Um, and then I was in a country band, which, cringe. And then I started doing pop music. And now I'm kind of getting back to my country pop roots. This song was probably the funniest song that I've started like writing in a different session. So I was writing with my friends Elle and Corey in a different session. And I think I did like a really bad take and my friend Elle was like, ooh, she's a one take wonder. And then we started just singing like, she's just a one take wonder. And then I have it on my phone. And then my friend Corey was like, could you make this about like a man, like a one like hit wonder. And then we just wrote the chorus like in the street after like our studio session. And and then finished it like the next day and now it's like a real thing that's out in the world. <laughs> oh my god, my favorite one hit wonder. I mean, I've offended some dads with the one hit wonders that I've like mentioned in this song. I feel like somebody that I used to know. I feel like that's like the one that I really wanted to put in there because I feel like that was the biggest one of like when I was 12. So. Yeah, but I love, you know, I love that song. I love that band. Oh, I just always have loved country music, especially when I was a kid. And I grew up on Dolly Parton, and I loved Taylor Swift, and I just, I just, I don't know, I just grew up on Shania Twain and stuff like that. And then I was in a country band when I was in high school, and then, you know, as all, like, teenagers do, I was like, I'm rejecting everything that I've, like, grown to love. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm not doing country anymore. And I even got a tattoo of a little, like, cowboy, like, a dead cowboy, because I was like, this is the death of country in me. And then now I'm back. I'm just back to my roots, because, like, I just figured out, like, I love country music and I love pop music so it's nice now like I feel like the more I keep writing the more I can't like deny that side of country in me so I'm just trying to you know do all my pop country dreams now. <laughs> For months, like, so we wrote this song last summer. It was a joke, and I didn't think, like, we actually even did the demo kind of just, like, as a joke day, which is kind of my favorite songs to write are ones that I don't think are going to come out, and then I leak them, and then they have to come out. The chorus, for sure. Like, whenever I saw my friends Ellen Corey, we'd just, like, look at each other and just be like, she's just a one-take wonder, and then we just had to, like, and the bridge, too, really gets me. Just like, I'm second-guessing why I took his number, and then the bummer, like, it's just the stupid this song I've ever written, so <laughs> it always gets stuck in my head. <laughs> That's so interesting. I feel like this year I wanted to have a lot more fun with just releasing singles that I wrote recently. Even though I wrote One Hit Wonder like a year ago, I have some songs coming out later this year that I've actually written this summer. So it's been really nice to just like be able to go into the studio and like know that the songs can come out this year. But yeah, I usually start like with an idea and I'll bring it in. I write a lot with my friends, so I'll start with something like One Hit Wonder was a joke and then my friends kind of enable me to write stupid songs. So that's kind of how I start, but everything's different. I feel like my last project, it was really thought through and I wanted to be super intentional with like how the EP was laid out and like the order of the songs where this year I'm just having a lot more fun with singles so it's kind of not this like super thought through process. It's just I'm just having a lot more fun with music this year. So I'm here by myself, I'm just playing, I'm opening for Greta just by myself with my guitar. And yeah, the first two shows that I did, I landed the day I did the show, which was kind of rogue. So a lot of Delulu in this, I was kind of just like chatting shit for the whole show. And it's so fun. I'm playing a new song, which is exciting that I haven't played live before. And I'm playing all of my songs like acoustically, which I haven't really done much before. So that's what you can expect from me. And from Greta, you can just expect everything. It's, it's such a great show. And yeah, yesterday, well, the day before yesterday, I got to actually like go out into the audience and like dance and see all the songs and it's so good. It really is a big pop show. Oh, I love playing live. Like I started writing music to play live because I wanted, I figured out I couldn't just do covers all the time. Like I could, but if I wanted to like do bigger shows and everything, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to like write music, which I'm really grateful for because it kind of just got me into it really early because I was doing like county fairs and like all that stuff in Canada, like really young. It's just the best thing to me. I feel like the writing 
process to me feels really like selfish and like self-indulgent which is good sometimes but then I feel like playing live is when like I kind of like hand over the songs to other people and it feels like they're not my songs anymore which is like my favorite part is seeing like how everyone relates to them. So I have more songs coming out this year, which I'm really excited about. The ones that I'm releasing after One Hit Wonder. I feel like One Hit Wonder was like my soft launch back into country pop. So I have some sad fall songs, or song, who knows, coming out um, later this year, maybe. Who knows? But that's kind of what I have coming up. I'm playing a tour in the UK uh, in October, which I'm really excited about. So, I mean, hopefully I can come back to Australia sometime soon and like do my own tour, because I love it here and everyone's so nice. Casey Musgraves, Dolly Parton, Shania Twain, Taylor Swift, yeah, Avril Lavigne. I love all my Canadian girls. <laughs> Dolly Parton. Either Golden Hour by Casey Musgraves or 1989, Taylor Swift. Lady Bird is my favorite, like, movie of all time. So, Lady Bird. I'd love to write some sad shit for that. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> Don't say anything stupid and embarrassing. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna say Miley, cause she'd want me to say that. But I, to my core, like I wanna, you know, Hannah. I think Jolene was the first song I ever tried to learn on guitar. I think it was Jonas Brothers or Selena Gomez in the scene. I think that was it. Florence and the Machine, or I went to 1989 tour, which was the best day of my life. <laughs> oh, a Spice Girl, for sure. Clumsy Spice, I don't know. Embarrassing Spice. <laughs> Shouldn't be on the stage Spice. <laughs> Red Rocks, I've always seen Red Rocks. Also, um, the Vogue in Vancouver, that's where I'm from. So the Vogue, I'm gonna go with the Vogue. Live Like You Were Dying by Tim McGraw. Um, or Somebody Like You, Keith Urban. That's, he's Australian. So I'm gonna go Somebody Like You, Keith Urban. I played Lafayette in London last October. So that one was really memorable. Or my first show ever, which was in Camden um, in April. But yeah, two years ago. That was really memorable. Definitely Taylor Swift or Lana Del Rey. I'm a big Lana girl, so yeah, maybe them. I would say not to put too much pressure on myself and just let things happen. I feel like when I expect things to happen, that's when I end up being the most depresso. So yeah, just go with the flow. <laughs> oh my God, everything. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have music, so. I guess everything. I guess maybe a job. <laughs> like, if I didn't have music, I don't know what I would do. So um, employment, <laughs> that's what it means. Could you imagine all too well just <laughs> photo album on the counter? <laughs> the world is burning up, that's so good. Um, I'd probably want to play something funny. I'm going to actually go with Somebody Like You by Keith Urban because <laughs> <laughs> that guitar fucking thing in the middle, it goes on forever. So imagine, I just picture the world burning and it's like banjo playing, <laughs> flames going up. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be my pick, <laughs> sadly. 
I knew I wanted to be a musician when I was around five years old and I saw my grandpa playing in front of like our family. And then I, the next year I saw Hannah Montana and I was like, this is what I want to do. <laughs> so yeah, Hannah Montana and my grandfather. So. <laughs>